My name is Ashley Hall, and I'm the founder of Houston's Liftoff. What inspired you to create Houston's Liftoff? Um, my son's name um, is Houston. Um, back in 2015, um, I was 25 weeks pregnant with him, and um, I had to deliver him in emergency C-section. Um, I had him August 14th, 2015, and he lived four and a half months in the neonatal intensive care unit, which is also known as the NICU. Um, but unfortunately, he did pass away January 5th, 2016. When Houston was born, um, he, he w we actually got to experience two different hospitals. He was born at Altman Hospital, um, and then that year, he, he was there for about three months. And then the day before Thanksgiving in 2015, Altman, they, um, uh, we're located, we are in Canton, Ohio, um, by the way, but, um, we, um, they, Houston, he was, he wasn't getting worse, but he wasn't getting any better, better. He was kind of just like staying the same and Altman couldn't quite figure out his diagnosis or why, you know, he was kind of just staying the same. So they recommended him to be transferred to Akron Children's, which is like about a half hour away from us. Um, and so uh, the day before Thanksgiving in 2015, they actually transferred him up to Akron Children's. And at the time, um, my daughter, who was three, um, she, she, my daughter, she was my firstborn, um, and Houston was my second born, but he was my first son. Um, so I, I had her at the time I also had to take care of. Um, so then when we got to Akron Children's, um, right across the street, there's actually a Ronald McDonald house. And luckily me and my daughter qualified to stay there while Houston was spending time in the NICU at Akron Children's. Um, but um, we only got to stay there a, a month and a half before he passed away. But for those who don't know, the Ron McDonald House, it's another wonderful organization. Um, they provide um, an overnight stay um, up to months, weeks, sometimes even a year if families have to. Um, but they, they provide meals. Um, you can stay the night there. Um, it's right across the street from the hospital. So you could just like walk across the street. You could even do your laundry there. So it just it made it less stressful for people families, you know, that are traveling to and from the hospital. Um, and that's kind of what inspired us, um, just all, you know, the Ron McDonald House and then just the families that would generously donate um, to, you know, families that were spending time in the hospital. They would donate meals, electric toothbrushes. Um, it was the holiday season. So, um, at the Ron McDonald House, they had a, a tree full of gifts. My daughter even got some gifts. So it just, um, you know, just the amount of support was overwhelming. And that led to me personally, I would donate um, every birthday um, for Houston's birthday. And then his angel birthday, as I called it, I would donate um, the day he passed away as well. And I would donate to the NICU at Altman just because the amount of resources that are in Canton, um, are very few compared to all the resources that there is in Akron. So my focus was to just help the Alt Altman's NICU and Kent as much as I could. So I would donate um, like receiving blankets, um, premature onesies, booties, hats, anything that the NICU needed. And then um, I did that for a few years. And then after a while, um, I kind of sat and, and thought, you know, the NICU, the NICU babies themselves kind of have everything that they need, you know? So um, I wanted to be more of a resource for families that need like gas gift cards or in, that need some food or um, anything that, that we can help with. So fast forward, um, it was um, right before 2020, I had reached out to Facebook and I said, Hey, you know, we're doing donations. Does anybody want to help? And I got an amazing outpour of support, just the public wanting to help this cause. And so then I officially became, um, I, uh, applied for our 501c3 status and we officially became a nonprofit in April of 2020.
Yeah, how important is it for the families to have a support system while going through this? Um, it's Yeah, I think it's very important that families know about resources and support that there is um, because um, they a lot of people don't think about the NICU or don't even know that there is a NICU. I know I was one of those moms. I never even heard about the NICU until it happened to me. And I kind of had to navigate and see um, everyone else, the, the previous NICU families, I said, that had donated meals or, or hygiene items or anything like that. From their support um, made me realize that there is a need, and especially in Canton, um, there's not any resources. Um, even though we have a NICU unit in Canton, there's not resources all the resources are 30 minutes away, which um, in some in some families that are in Altman, they're traveling 40 minutes to Altman. So um, I, I think it's definitely important to have resources for those families and for them to know, um, you know, just kind of getting kind of uh, advertising and, and promoting in the pu public to let them know you know, Houston's liftoff is here for families that are going through the NICU in Canton. Um, so I think I think it's definitely important to research and um, to know what's all out there. How has the nonprofit helped your own uh, healing process? Um, it's been it's been wonderful. Um, I love helping people. I love. The connections I've made um, when we were a nonprofit in 2020, it kind of it, it was during COVID, so <laughs> yeah. we we um, we could only do so much, and we couldn't really interact with the families um, just because of you know the the risk of transferring germs and things like that. But um, I'd say within the past year, since things have lifted with COVID, we've been able to interact more with the families. And that itself has just been my healing just to hear families, um, babies in their stories, and then for them to, um, to, uh, to reach out when they do receive a donation basket to let them know that, you know, um, or for them to reach out and thank us for our baskets. And I just love the feedback because I love that the people know that we are here for them. So that helps, that helps my healing because um, you never really truly heal from child loss, but being able to help families like us, um, I made Houston a promise that his legacy would live on. And I feel like that um, I'm doing just that. People are knowing his name. Canton is knowing his name. And um, you know, he has a story too. How has the feedback been in the community? It's been, oh, it's been wonderful. Um, I never in a million years, I dreamed that we would be as, uh, we would grow as much as we have. Um, we've helped over 800 families in the NICU. Um, and that's just, for the most part, that's just been the public. Um, we, we receive grants here and there, but the public really has been our advocate um, in our support system. And then also my board, you know, um, but but the, the public really has been so helpful and they help, they care so much about these families too. What do you do to help your own mental health? Um, I just spend time um, with my children. I have three other children at home um, and they just, you know, they keep me busy um, and I'm just blessed to have other children that, um, you know, and, and they know their little brother. So also speaking Houston's name and they speak Houston's name um, that, that just helps my mental, my mental is just being with my family. Where do you want to see your mission, say, in the next three to five years? 
I would love to have the option of um, offering, you know, overnight stay for families, whether it being in the hospital or like um, the Ronald McDonald House, which I've actually been really focusing on that this past year. I've been in contact with Altman Hospital and the Ronald McDonald House. Um, and right now, actually, I'm just waiting for an approval from Altman to get that started. What have you learned from your kids? Um, they're honest. <laughs> they, <laughs> they, um, they hurt too. My daughter, she was three at the time and she, you know, she has see, she has seen so much loss, whether it was, you know, first it was her brother and then I lost my grandpa. She lost her great grandpa. So, um, she, and she's only 11 now. So she's experienced a lot of loss and pain too. Um, but my children still, they know Houston. They still speak on him. We still celebrate his birthday. Um, every year they're fighting over who's going to blow out his candle. So, <laughs> So um, they they really help keep him alive, and they question they ask questions still, um, and they love being they want to be more involved with Houston's liftoff, and you know they do come to donations now. Um, at when when it comes to um, the flu season at the hospital, I can't really bring them, but they've been to past donations, and they love helping too. With your help, have you seen? family's confidence level rise as they go through this? Yeah, definitely. I see them being more hopeful. Um, you know, they said that we've brought smiles to their faces, especially when um, we donate like around the holidays because it doesn't really feel like a holiday to them. Right. Um, but we get a lot of feedback when families do receive their baskets. They know that they're not alone. And if, if they need something, they do have someone, whether it's me or uh, my other board members, that they can reach out if they need someone to talk to or, you know, um, it's it's been a blessing that way. How can people reach out and learn more? Um, we have a website at www.houstonsliftoff.com. Um, we're on Facebook. Houston's left off. Um, we're on TikTok and Instagram, and um, you can reach out. Um, our number is 330-280-3881. That's actually my personal cell phone too. <laughs> um, but I'm I'm available mostly, you know, anytime, any day. So I might not get back right away, but I'll get back to you for sure. <laughs>